Hi guys, I'm back in the cow shed again and uh, this is a farm where the farmer has problems with magpies, crows and jackdaws coming in this shed and they're defecating all over the cows feed troughs in the province so he's asked me to uh, see if I can thin them out also this farm has sheep and lambs lambs in spring obviously and uh, we also have uh, ground nesting birds here we have curlews, oyster catchers and a few more so we can legally shoot crows and magpies and jackdaws here 12 months of the year. Anyway, I'm having a change today. I've got my uh, HW77 and I've put the Pulsar C50 on top. And I've just checked my zero. I'm virtually as confident with this as I was with my Wolverine the other day. It's shooting absolutely spot on. So yeah, I'm going to have to get to it I think. It's an hot day today, there's no wind, so it should be easier. Obviously I'm using a Springer, but no, I'm, I'm very confident. As I'm speaking now, there's a wood pigeon there. There's a wood pigeon there. But I'm not after wood pigeons, I'm not bothered about shooting wood pigeons here. I'll shoot wood pigeons over crops, but they probably are causing problems here a bit, but I'm after crows and magpies, jackdaws as well. So yeah. Let's get to it. This is the second time I've been here, so they're getting a bit wiser now. They're keeping about 60, 70 yards away. There's a crow just landed here. Nice one, he went down nice and clean. That's the way to do it, you know, 100% clean kill. I mean, sometimes you can aim here, you know, like top of the chest here is a good spot. It's 99% as good as an headshot, but to me, an headshot is 100%. It doesn't look it sometimes when you see it, but it is. So, yeah, I'll stick to headshots for now, but if it starts getting hard work, I might start aiming here, but we'll see. I must admit it's a bit quieter today, they're not daft, you know. Uh, I keep, the farmer keeps coming talking to me. <laughs> the magpie just landed there. Yeah, I did forget to mention, I put out two dead magpies as decoys. And decoys either work or they don't, and this day they didn't seem to work. And if you look, you'll see the magpies kept landing at the back around the gate, and that was too far for a 12 foot pound springer for a shot. But also, if you look, you'll see Percy the pigeon, he didn't seem to bother, he was there all day. <laughs> but I'm not after shooting pigeons. So, yeah, I think that's it for today. I've only shot one crow today, been quiet really. But it hasn't helped because the farmer's been battling forward talking to me. Not farmers are like. <laughs> but uh, no, no, I'm happy one crow, it's, it's good. And uh, I've enjoyed using this. It's got the same potential as a PCP, it really has. The only thing I will say is when you shoot springers, you've got to be more solid shooting, you know. I'm on these plastic bags and uh, they're not just that solid. But no, it has been good to use. So anyway, I've gone for now, and I'll see you very soon. It's about five days later now, and I'm back in the same building. And I'm still using the HW77. I've still got a Pulsar C50 on top. And uh, the only thing is the magpies are coming through the left of the building. They're not landing outside like they were the other day. They're coming inside now. 
but the landing literally 10 feet off me, seeing me and flying off. So the only chance I've got today is if they land on the gate outside the building, which is about 25 yards away, and hopefully I'll get a shot. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm back here in the same building, but the foreman moved all the straw and sawdust about. How dirty. So he messed up my hide. So I'm just sat here leaning on a bag of sawdust. I'm not exactly hidden. But if I keep still, I should be okay. And also I'm just adjusting the C50 here for a nice clear shot. First one down. That was a nice headshot. That. And, uh, it's hard work because I've got to shoot them fast. And as you know, they don't keep still. So the next one I'm going to aim here, this spot where I mentioned before, because it's as good as an headshot. So I'll try that on the next one. Again, this day there was a lot of wood pigeons about. But I've said before I'll shoot them over crops, but around farm buildings and farm yards, I don't bother with them, they don't seem to do any harm. There's a magpie outside here. It's been rattling and banging for the last 20 minutes. But it won't just land. <laughs> Whenever I use a 12 foot pounder air rifle, especially in Monsensen, I always 99% you know, try to go for headshots. I think it's the only way. But as I've said, this spot here is a good spot to shoot at. Near today, now I've been here a few times. This is my third time I've been here. So they are getting a bit wise. So when they're landing, they're landing and flying off. Or they're fidgety. So you don't always get a chance to aim on the head. So I might have to start aiming here now. Depends, I'll see how they land and how they act. Just I finished talking and a jack doll landed. But uh, he went down again with a nice headshot. I actually like this HW77 that much. I've gone and bought another in two too. <laughs> and I've bought them from a gun shop in the UK called Northwest Gun Centre. And uh, they have two shops, one's in Stockport in Manchester, the other's in Bolton. And I've dealt with both these shops now for years. And uh, you know they are you know they're a good set of lads. And the prices at the moment I think are very reasonable. You know, I wouldn't say it if I didn't think they were. So, if you are thinking of buying anything to do with shooting, just look them up. You know, you might be shocked. I just thought I'd tell you. Yeah, I've been here about two hours by now. And these magpies, they were starting to wise up. So, I didn't take any more shots this day. But I stayed another half an hour just in case one did come in and then I packed up. Yeah, going back to spring action air rifles, I used mine up to about 1994, I think, 
and uh, 1994 I bought a Rapid 7 and I used to have an HW80 at the time and I used to do a lot of pest control with that but uh, I got me Rapid and to be honest my, my 80 just got put away in a cupboard and I didn't see it for years and years and years I just classed as you know the PCPs were the new thing you know they were just so accurate and they still are and I still use them but I got I bought this about a month ago or five a week ago and I've been using this for pest control since and uh, yeah, it does the exact same job as my Wolverine. It's a bit heavier, a bit more recoil, but it's a lot cheaper. There's no air buckles, no leaking air, and doing the same job. So I get loads of messages, people saying I'm thinking of starting pest control. And I think if you, you know, if you haven't got that much money to spend, you buy something like this of this quality, you can buy a lot cheaper. But uh, this to me is a serious, that air rifle, you know, I didn't realise how good this HW77 was until I bought one. So yeah, all I'm saying is, you know, if you're thinking of starting pest control, you know, get a good quality springer and you won't go wrong. Just thought I'd tell you. Why am I here just mucking out? Come on, shake your bloody cell. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. I've shot three magpies and a jackdaw, and I think I've pressed record four times. So I'm going to go and pick them up now. But also, quick, you know, just before I go, I've not seen a magpie in this area for probably three quarters of an hour. And there's a sparrow there, and there's a goldfinch at the end of the road on the fence. And, uh, you know, they're the birds I like to see because if the magpies rear, there's not a chance them birds would be there. I just thought I'd say that, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go and pack up. I'm just going for these magpies and uh, them prints there. So that's a good sign. There they are. The third magpie, the farmer, actually scooped it up in his bucket when he was mucking out. So that'll actually be in the farmer's midden. I don't know if you can see or not, but my air rifle's absolutely uh, <laughs> again, so I'll have to go home and give it a good clean. So yeah, thanks for watching. Another good result, and I will see you all soon. Look at that cheeky fly on my barrel. Can't believe it. There's a fly trying on my HW77 barrel. <laughs>